These days, any time we review a supercar, muscle car, or, well, virtually anything powered by a large, naturally aspirated gasoline engine, we inevitably lament their seemingly imminent demise. With forced induction, electrification, and combinations of both unlocking ever more power, high revving 8 10 or 12 cylinder engines that breathe in atmospheric pressure without assistance and blow it up with some, okay, often a lot, of fuel aren't long for this world. Engines like the 5.2 liter V10 in the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica, for example. You might recognize the Technica as simply the latest version of Lamborghini's long serving Huracan, the brand's entry level supercar, edging past the workaday Huracan Evo. It might also be the final installment before Lamborghini replaces this generation and it's going out on a high note. Remember 2021's Huracan STO? The 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica is basically that road-going track car, but stripped of its wilder aerodynamic elements and with a fuller interior and a normally trimmed front trunk. Lamborghini dials back some of the raciness from the STO's tuning here, as well, resulting in a Huracan that nearly walks like an STO, while being generally more streetable and comfortable, and certainly talks like one, with the same ear-ringing soundtrack from, well, the same 630 horsepower V10. That is the biggest question of all. We loved the STO when we first tested it and when it competed in our inaugural performance vehicle of the year competition last year. Lamborghini seemingly took a track car, put normal seat belts in it, and decided that was good enough to qualify as a real car. This isn't hyperbole, the name stands for Super Trofeo Homologata, as in it is a homologation special done up for Lumbo Single Make Racing Series and GT3 competition. As a trade-off for its more spartan interior, exposed carbon fiber elements, firm ride, and tenacious noise, an intake snorkel on the roof makes sure of it, you were given gut reorienting grip, immediate responses, and non-stop feedback through every control. Aerodynamic downforce also is a big part of the STO experience and one of the first differences we detected between the Huracan Technica and its racy progenitor, next to its more livable cabin noise levels at everyday speeds and better ride quality. Without the STO's towering rear wing, deep front splitter, and other air-directing bits, the Technica feels looser in higher speed maneuvers. It remains wicked fast, particularly on a track, and its moves are razor sharp. But on faster sections of the streets of Willow at Willow Springs International Raceway, the slightly more forgiving and less downforce enhanced Technica simply moves around more on the Bridgestone Potenza race tires it shares with the STO. Deal killer? Hardly. Just look at our test numbers. With the same 630 horsepower and 417 lbft of torque as the STO being routed through the same 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission to the rear tires, the Technica matches the STO's acceleration to 60 miles per hour, 2.8 seconds, and beats it to the quarter mile by 0.1 second and 2.2 miles per hour. Lacking race-level downforce presents as a double-edged sword here. The lower drag Technica can beat the STO to higher speeds. Once at those higher speeds, however, it lacks the STO's more sure-footed feel, as its spoilers aren't pressing it into the pavement as hard. Lower speed handling isn't impacted as much by the Technica's lower downforce, with our test car notching a 96-foot stop from 60 miles per hour and 1.09 g average on our skid pad, just one foot longer and 0.05 g behind the STO's performances. Just 0.3 seconds separates the Technica from the STO on our figure 8 lap, 22.6 seconds at an average 0.94 g versus the STO's 22.3 at 99 centimos. More impressive is how close these data points are despite the Technica weighing just shy of 100 pounds more. These figures place the Technica in heady company among the twin-turbo McLaren 720S, which we've tested, and the Ferrari 296 GTB, whose performance estimates line up with the Lumbos. Unless you spend your commute cornering at well above highway speeds, the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica gives up little to its STO counterpart. In fact, the slightly relaxed limits let you play around with the Lumbo more at regular paces. Go ahead, step the tail out a little exiting that tight bend. The Bridgestones along with Lamborghini's imperceptible rear wheel steering work together to deliver progressive rear-end breakaway. For a wedge-shaped supercar with so much power delivered to only half its wheels, the Technica is almost shockingly approachable, 
with its clearly telegraphed limits available for exploration rather than being vague barriers to trip over and get into trouble with. Yes, you must respect the V10's full night and definitely pay attention to the temperature or lack thereof in the near slick tires. But provided the car and you are warmed up and it isn't snowing outside, you can spend all day simply going faster and faster. The STO offered a similar experience, but left your head buzzing from the noise, while the rest of your body felt as if it went through a rock tumbler. The Technica keeps the STO's best parts and blends them with a smoother, quieter ride and a little extra high-speed edge. We'd say it even looks better without all the STO's wings and things, but Lamborghini's latest restyle of the Huracan clutters up a lot of the clean, angular surfacing that gave earlier models more appeal. The X-shaped front end, in particular, is laid on pretty thick. Our only other complaints? Some narrower-bodied drivers on our staff found the front seats weren't supportive enough, as the wide backrests allow torsos to slide left to right in hard driving. And like in the STO, the Strata, Street, Drive Mode and Automatic Gear Selection are too lazy even for, well, street driving. Every time we flipped the misalarming style door on the center console and pushed the starter button, our next hand movements were to the M Manual Mode button below it, and then to the Steering Wheel Drive Mode switch, which we thumbed to the Sport setting, or, if on track, Corsa Mode. If you missed out on the STO, the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica is now the one to buy. Even if you didn't miss out, it's still the Huracan to buy, unless you want to go off-road, in which case, have you seen the new Huracan Sterado? Maybe Lamborghini isn't killing the Huracan so soon after all.